Hey everybody, welcome to my channel once again. Today I'm going to show you another step, um, another aspect of your invoicing to make it a little more easy when you prepare preparing an invoice for you, one of your customers. So remember in our last videos, last videos I showed you how to create your own invoice um, at no extra cost to you using Microsoft Excel 2007. Right. Um, when I say no extra cost to you, normally um, some people will buy like some doc um, software like QuickBooks and stuff to do their invoicing and different things. But um, you, you, if you're not starting your business and you just want to make a simple invoice for your customer, um, you could be for yourself. I and mean, that's what we're doing here. So another level to the, this invoice now, um, let's say you have you're doing a voice to your customer and it's somebody that you type in regular. You want to make it easier for you so when, when you enter in this particular area for your description that um, it automatically appears on the um, on that particular cell. So that's what, you, what we're doing today. We're creating a list so that um, you can select, do like a drop down list and make a selection for what your service you, you are providing for your customer. Okay. So with that being said, what we need to do, um, actually, basically, we're going to go into, we're going to create a new sheet in our um, spreadsheet, okay? So we have sheet here, sheet number one. Okay, so now we have our, we have our, I have my list of services here. I have video editing services, photography services, product review, book publishing, and general administrative services. So what we're going to do first, we're going to highlight this, um, this group of services and give them a name okay so i'm going to right click on that and select name of re name a range and i'm going to call it okay my list of um our services is, i've called it descriptions because apparently i had i've done this before and um it wasn't accepting the, the new names i was given it okay so let's move on all right, so our list of services have been named, and we're going to go back to the um to the invoice, the invoice template, and now we're going to work on this particular area here, the description area. Now we basically want to have the drop down menu in this area here, so I'm going to highlight that, and then I'm going to say I'm going to click on where is it data, and we're going to say on data validation. Okay, it's saying here the selection, the selection contains more than one type of validation. Erase current settings and continue. Yes, I had done it before. So uh, it's asking me if I want to overwrite what it is I'm doing, which, I'm, which I'll say yes, because I want to show exactly what I'm doing. So, okay, we're going to select the validation criteria. So I'm going to say, this is basically saying what type, what you want to do with this set of data that you, you this area that you um, selected. So we're going to click on the drop down arrow. I'm going to click on list. And the source area, we're gonna click press um enter the source area equal sign. And I think I called it description. What did I call it? Descriptions, yes, I called it that. And click on OK. All right. So I'm gonna just clear that area. I'm going to put up enter this first area here. You see I have a drop down list there. I'm gonna click on that. And there you have it. So I have video editing services, photography product review so let's do product review click on that and i'm going to put number of hours let's say that number of hours is let's say two hours and we spend basically our operators like five dollars per hour and i'm going to do a formula and that's basically it so let's put in another service let's say book publishing and we spend basically five dollars on that that cost is let's say two dollars i'm just putting any sort of thing i'm going to copy this formula from the row above i'm going to home copy i'm going to copy this a few more cells because we need one data and the other few cells and let's do another one more more automatic so i'm going to go into Video editing, I spent about 10 hours. That is basically um, hmm, $4.50 per hour. <laughs> All right, so you get the idea. So basically, what we just did, there, we made we create a drop down list for our invoices to make it easier. 
And what I'm going to do next, in, our, in my next video, we're going to do like multiple lists in that in that one invoice. So we want that when we um, enter for product review, we're going to get the cost per hour on that particular invoice. So I'm not doing it now, just avoid the, the, this invoice, this video from being too long. Okay, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.